Hello, welcome to another Research Methods for the Biosciences screencast for R. This screencast covers section 9.5 correlations, including 9.6 Speeman's rank correlation and 9.7 Pearson's product moment correlation. Research biologists are always trying to figure out how biological systems function. This path to discovery often starts with an observation that changes in a biological trait may be linked to changes in another trait or an environmental factor. This is often detected by the eye seeing a possible relationship when the data is plotted as a scatter graph. Here, it looks highly likely that the shell hardness is related to how much supplement is eaten. Often, however, many other biological and environmental factors can affect the trait we are interested in, and it would be difficult to be sure there is a relationship with so much noise about. You can see these points do not form a perfect straight line. This is where we can use the Spearman's rank correlation and the person's product moment correlation to give an indication whether the relationship you see is real. The person's product moment test is used on parametric data. If you do not know if your data is parametric, then check out my screencast called Is My Data Normally Distributed? If your data is not parametric or you are unsure, then you can use the Spearman's rank correlation. This is the R script that we will be using. You may wish to freeze the frame so you can see it more clearly or download the script from the Online Resource Centre. Lines in green are notes to help you understand the process. Words in blue are variable names, and you can change them to suit yourself, providing they are consistent throughout the script. The numbers in red are our data and can be changed. The lines and words in black, however, are commands to R and must be written exactly as shown on the screen. Please note that all the letters are lowercase. So I've loaded the R script and I'm now going to run it line by line by pressing Control R. As I press Control R, the lines of the script appear in the console window as they are run. We are now going to define the variables. Supplement has been defined. Hardness has been defined. How do we know R has actually taken these variables into its memory, however? This is where we're going to use the list function, ls. And we can see, when we run this test, we can see the names of our two variables appear in the console window. So let's perform the Spearman's rank correlation. This is done by using the command core.test, indicating the method is Spearman. We can see the output gives us several figures. The figure we're most interested in is the Spearman's row value here. This is the correlation coefficient and is equal to 0 0.983. The correlation coefficient is a number between 1 and minus 1. That tells us how closely our data is linearly correlated, with 1 or minus 1 meaning perfectly correlated, while 0 means the points are not correlated at all. As you can see, I've drawn some scatter graphs to illustrate these points. The middle graph which has an R value of 1, shows that all the data points lie on a straight line. But as the R value decreases from 0 0.85 to 0 0.7, you can see the scatter of the points around the line increases until we eventually reach an R value of 0, where you cannot functionally draw a line through it at all. The points are totally scattered. A minus correlation coefficient suggests that as X increases, y decreases, so the slope is in the opposite direction to a positive R value. So a correlation coefficient of 0 0.983 suggests that our data is fairly well correlated. But is this by random chance? Is this some freaky data, or can we rely on it? In order to determine that, we need to look at the probability value, the p-value, and that is given two lines up here, and is equal to 1.677 times 10 to the minus 9. So what is the meaning of the p-value? A p-value of 1 means we can accept the null hypothesis as true, whereas a p-value of 0 means we can accept the null hypothesis as untrue. As we travel from a p-value of 1 to 0, the transition point between true and untrue is set at 0 0.05 in the biological sciences. But the smaller the p-value, the more confident we can be in rejecting the null hypothesis. And for some experiments, a transition p-value of 0 0.01 or even 0 0.001 may be preferable. 
So a p-value of 1.677 times 10 to the minus 9 is a very small probability, suggesting we can reject the null hypothesis and our correlation is likely to be true. So let's run the Pearson's product moment correlation. Again, I'm going to press Control r to run the lines of code one by one. R has given us the correlation coefficient, which in this case is 0 0.9936, and a probability value equal to 8.967 times 10 to the minus 12. This again suggests that our correlation is not only very good, but is highly likely to be true. I hope you found this screencast helpful. For further information on how to use this test, or the theory behind it, then please consult the book. More information on how to use the program to perform the test can be found in our online web guides located in the Resource Centre. Thank you for listening.